We all have two lives. And the second one begins when you realize that you only have one. Everything that happened in the past, every mistake you made, every failure, every moment of pain, there's nothing you can do about it. So there's no point having any regrets. The best you can do is learn from it. Same way with the future. There's no point planning because there are too many variables that cause uncertainty. I mean, you can't even guarantee that you'll be alive tomorrow or for that matter, 10 minutes from now. So you have no control over the past nor the future. But what you do have is now. As Uguay said, now is a gift. That's why it's called the present. I'm sure each and every one of you has heard the cliche statement I made at least a million times by now. If I were to watch another motivational video or see another post with a similar message, I'd literally go insane. And trust me, I truly feel your frustration because what I said in few words is to ideally stop worrying. And like many things in life, it's easier said than done. Cause it's like telling a financially unstable person to get rich. Like every single person wants inner peace and salvation in some shape or form. Tell me one person who doesn't. The thing is, many people simply just do not know how to get there. I want you to treat your inner peace as if it's an art. Just like performing or playing a musical instrument. And just like any other art, it becomes better with practice. And do not worry at all if you do not know how to approach this. Because in this entry level tutorial, I'm going to tell you what to do, how to do it, but most importantly, why my methods work using scientific evidence. So stay tuned because I'm literally giving you the key to happiness. Let me start by stating the obvious. All your fears, emotional pains and worries come from the mind. And as I stated in the previous video, your mind is the software that runs your entire body. So if you haven't checked out that video already, I'm going to leave the link to it in the description box down below so you can get a further exemplification of this analogy as well as the other major pillars of your life. Anyways, I'm not here to promote myself, so let's get back to business. As I was saying, our exercises are going to deal with improving the efficiency and capacity of our mind or brain. So let's take the heart. Now a very efficient heart will have very few beats per minute. Think about it. Much less work will need to be done by an efficient heart to circulate blood around the entire body. The exact concept can be applied to the brain. Right now, as you're awake watching this video, your brain is operating as what is known as the beta level, which is the highest frequency of brain activity. However, there are many other frequencies that your brain operates with. For example, when you go to sleep, your brain lowers itself to the lowest frequency, the delta level which enables you to recall the memories and events of the previous day through what is known as dreams. Now in between this waking beta level and sleeping delta level, there are many other altered states such as the alpha level or theta level as seen in this chart. And it is at these other altered states of mind where we are able to make decisions at a much calmer and efficient rate resulting to less worry. This research is relatively new, so we don't fully understand why it works. But that would be a foolish reason not to utilize something's power to our advantage. Think about it, we didn't know much about the sun until Galileo did his research in the late 16th century. But that didn't prevent farmers from using its light energy for agriculture for eons before that. So why should this be any different case? There are several methods of accessing these altered states of mind. And I'm going to be doing a video on that very, very soon. 
So make sure you hit the subscribe and push bell notification buttons so you never ever miss any of my fabulous content when it comes out. But the most scientifically verified and approved method to date is meditation. Proof of this is seen when Tibetan monks who had been meditating for 15 plus years were passed through an MRI scan. And to the researchers' fascination, their brain lit up with not alpha, not theta, but gamma waves. As I mentioned earlier, these are the waves an ordinary person like me and you only achieve when we're fast asleep. And I think it's damn fair to say that these Tibetan monks are far more at peace and are way happier than me and you will ever be in this materialistic world. For those of you who have been inspired by this concept of meditation and are ready to begin, I will be releasing a 5 minute guide simultaneously with this video so that you can practice every morning the first thing when you wake up. And I guarantee you, if you do it religiously and with an open mind, you will see remarkable changes in less than a week. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. So for those of you who want to take your meditation to the next level, or once you've used the 5 minute guide and will be ready to take your meditation to the next level, I will be releasing a full online course alongside leading experts in this field that will enable you to manipulate these altered states of mind at a much more complex level so that to the outside world it will seem like you've gained some sort of supernova intelligence or psychic ability but it will be nothing of the sort. You will have just mastered yourself. If this video has helped you in any shape or form Please do the necessary by liking, commenting, sharing, you know the drill, so that I can reach out to as many people as possible and we can spread positivity around the globe. Thank you very much for those of you who have stayed tuned till the end. Until next time, peace.